The search for a missing man in Echo Park is now a recovery effort. He was on one of those swan pedal boats. It capsized in the lake, and now police believe he never resurfaced. CBS News' Jasmine Veal is live for us in Echo Park. Has the latest, Jasmine? Yeah, Jeff and police dive teams are still out in the lake right now searching. At one point, they thought they may have located a body, but that turned up nothing. They're dealing with depths up to 28 feet and a lot of vegetation. We know that the missing man is said to be in his early 20s, and as we pan over, that is the swan paddle boat he was in with the torn top. With buoys marking the spot, police dive teams entered the lake after scanning the bottom with sonar. The massive search, though, for a missing man began early this morning with a helicopter and dozens of firefighters. They even paddled out themselves using flashlights to illuminate the water. Police say six people were out on the lake in three different paddle boats around 3 a.m. when the boat carrying two men overturned. Only one of those men made it back. He stood up and the boat capsized. He swam over to the edge of the, of the lake. Wrapped in a blanket with wet hair, authorities say this man told them he made it to shore but looked back and saw his friend struggling in the water. What happened out there? The man didn't want to answer our questions, but at one point he mumbled it was his friend. Are you doing okay? That's, that's my boy, you know? As this individual couldn't swim, and that person was asking for help and was uh, waving his arms, trying to keep his head above water, would go down and come back up. The two couples and the other two boats left the scene. Police say they didn't know each other and didn't offer to help. It was another witness who called 911. Meantime, the capsized swan boat was towed in and remained tethered to the side of the lake through the morning. Police say the people in those boats most likely cut through the cables to get them out. And police have not been able to locate or even find those two other couples to question them. Apparently, they had told some witnesses they thought both men had made it back to shore safely. Uh, Jeff and Sharon, the one man who did stay here and is now detained waiting at the police station for any mm -hmm. answers, he could be facing felony theft charges to trespassing.